48 incher and I just missed him. <laughs> Imagine if that was a 48 inch musky. Oh, 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 oh. Another one. Bass Boys Fishing. What's up, guys? Bass Boys here. Or I should say, we're musky boys here. Because today we're fishing for musky. Hopefully, we can get one today. It's not a very common fish to catch, so. See what happens. Probably got about three hours to come up with one. So I'm gonna get the set up here, get the camera on the chest, and get to fishing here. So here's a Ryan using today. He's using the bone. It's actually what it's called. It's a big top water lure. We'll both be using big top waters to start off, unless he wants to do something else today, like a glide bait. But you know, we might try some gliders, uh, swim baits. First, we're gonna start off with top water, because that's what I've caught most monkeys, muskies on. Actually, all muskies that I've caught have been caught on top water. <laughs> so I'll just throw that over there. My bait that I'm using is even bigger. I'm using the Weagle, a 10 inch. That one he's using is an 8 inch. Folks, look where we got it right here. We got it on a leader, obviously. This is a very heavy duty leader. Let's get our first cast in here. We'll be moving around. We got lots of gear. Big old net. We got the wind behind us right now. Not too much wind today. So that's good. We've been having to deal with wind. Feels like every fishing trip. It's Ryan set up there. Cast it a few times already. He's using the musky shop, uh, nine foot six telescopic rod that I bought last year. I haven't really used it much because I bought it towards the end before winter. All right, I had to delete a bunch of footage from the last trip. Make sure I have enough footage for hours today.
chest over here. And we'll move some spots. Most of the time, musky fishing is all about moving. Alright, we'll move in a minute. I was just saying, I was just saying we're gonna move in a little bit. Sometimes it's all about moving quickly with musky fishing. And other times it's all about it's all about staying in one place. Uh, you could put it right there, but you could put it on the reel. Yeah, yeah, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, because otherwise it'll scratch it all up. And then you just gotta try not to walk and get it stuck in your pants. Alright guys, we move to the other side directly. Part of us is where we started. It's actually like 76 degrees out today. So we're back in the shorts. Shorts and short sleeve shirts. Last time me and Ryan were fishing, it was winter coat weather. The weather seems to finally be changing. So it's good. Me and probably gonna get some we get the fishing pretty soon. Okay, here we are at spot three. rock, big rock wall, the rocks here, tends to be a, to be a good musky area. here, the Mountain Dew, Purple Thunder, <sighs> GoPro keeps overheating, I do believe that's going to be a big problem come the summer, 
with any of these action cameras. I don't know if there's something I can, different battery I can use to help the overheating. Most of the time, it seems like it happens you know, when the sun's beating directly on it. The sun's going down, so shouldn't have to deal with that right now, really. I think we're good right now. The sun shouldn't really be in it. Another thing about the place we're fishing here today, it's a fairly small lake to have muskie. It's the only one in the area, or at least in the area where I'm from. It's only like a couple miles away from the house. That's stock muskie. There's a couple, there's one other one. A little bit farther, and then there's one that's a lot farther from me. But this place has been putting muskies in since 2003, I believe. It's either 2003 or 2006. So if it's 2003, we've got 20 years of muskies every other year. So, I mean, think about it, 20 years, there has to be, there has to be a monster musky in a place like this. That's, you know, 48 inches or bigger. It has to be one. Yeah, all right, guys, we're, we're at the spot. We're at the spot. Close to the spot. Oh, you see that? Oh, oh my God. Come on. I got that on video. <laughs> oh yeah. That musky flew out of the freaking water. Holy crap, man. Yeah. Just gave me a freaking heart attack. I hope I got that on video. That looked like a decent one too. Always this spot. Imagine if that was a 48 inch and I just missed them. <laughs> Imagine if that was a 48 inch musky. Oh, 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 another one. Had a follow. <laughs> oh my God. Holy, oh my God, man. That could be a different one. Man, imagine if I, we were, if I actually had a good area and I could have figured eight and got that one. Okay, I switched over to this duck. It's called a called a uh what the heck is this thing called <laughs> the baby spitzer it's like a custom made lure i think it's like a handmade lure by somebody some company it was like a 50 dollar lure <laughs> seeing if maybe if i change it up something different might get, get another chance at that fish all you gotta do with this one is kind of reel it slower fast. Also got the Joe Booker here. Glide Raider. Might try this out in a second. I'm gonna try that out for a little while. The Spitzer Creeper. I'll take this out though. It's a pain in the ass. Getting these lures out of this damn bag. I have some ones that I might use. Ow. 
container. Try that one out too, maybe. And we got the big old grub here. Godzilla. Look at this thing. <laughs> Giant grub jig. Alright, so we're still using the baby spitzer. And Ryan's changed to the give him a whopper plopper. Got a bunch of lures behind me. Just laid on the ground. Just might want to try them. Top water still, because it's not often you get two muskies quickly to strike. The second one almost striked. And Ryan's putting a good old hog wobbler on. I forget what brand it. I think it's just like a hog wobbler, maybe the brand. But yeah, it's like a jointed top water. Should should make a kind of makes like a you can cast it close first. Makes like a unique sound. What? No, just reel it. This thing will float. One thing that's funny is it always seems like when people come up to me to see what I'm fishing for, they always think, think that I'm using a fish for bait, like an actual fish. They see the lures and think they're fish. That's pretty funny. Alright guys. We're gonna be fishing this spot here. It's gonna be the last spot we're gonna be able to hit today. I think I'm getting stuck in weeds. Yeah, so top water is gonna be the best. All right, we got the Weagle back on. Good old Weagle. Almost cast it to the other side. Bit of time left here still. Still trying for a nighttime musky. Alright guys, so today was a good day. Two muskies follows. One that struck the bait out there. Uh, the weagle. And then it followed it. And it might have been a different musky. Thinking it was a different one, but we had or I had two chances today. And I didn't didn't get them, so that kind of sucks. But we got all year to get them. Added, uh, Ryan, would you anything, any action, any anything at all? No, not for me. Yeah, Ryan didn't get anything, so he's still looking for his first musky. Hopefully, it'll happen this year. But be sure to stay tuned in the channel. We'll definitely be fishing this place a lot. Hopefully, get a musky on video one day or multiple times be pretty cool other than that subscribe to the channel like the video see you guys in the next one bass boys we fish for a living